Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about semaphores in System Vlog. So first, we'll understand what is semaphores. So this we have already heard this word semaphore in operating system, right? What is the semaphore in operating system? The semaphores are integer variables or values that are used to solve the critical section problem in operating system. So how we use to solve by using two operations such as wait and signal, right? So these semaphores are used for the process synchronization in operating system. Similarly, in system Verilog, these semaphores are used to control the excess of shared resources. These semaphores are used to control the excess of shared resources. These shared resources are nothing but shared memory area or shared memory location. I will give simple example for semaphore. Okay, consider you have one room. That room is a shared resource here. Okay, consider that room as a shared resource, and for that room. Uh, many people have a access okay many people have access to that room here the semaphore act as a key to that room semaphore act here the semaphore act as a key to that room that allows only a limited people can enter into the room at a same time the semaphore is nothing but a key here a key of the room okay so that key it allows only a limited number of people can enter to the room at the same time this is how semaphore works okay so similarly, when two or more processes or multiprocessors trying to access to the same memory location or shared resources, that time we can use this semaphores in order to avoid the unexpected results or unexpected outputs. So why we get this unexpected output or unexpected result? For example, we have two processes. Okay, that two processes are trying to access to the shared resource or shared memory location. So one process wants to write to the this memory location and another process wants to read from the same memory location at the same time okay that time it will lead to an error because two processes cannot perform the operation at the same time right so that time it will lead to an unexpected error unexpected output so that time we can use this semaphore in order to avoid the this unexpected result because this semaphore is a built-in class in system log used for the synchronization it is a built-in class in system Verilog used for the synchronization which is container that contains the fixed number of keys. This semaphore is like a bucket. Okay, it has a fixed number of keys. So the process which uses the semaphore must get the key from the bucket in order to execute or in order to continue the process or execution. So and other processes must wait for the key. Okay, must wait for the key. So when the key is available in the bucket that time it can get the key and continue with the process until and unless the without key it can it cannot perform the operation this is the rules of semaphore okay so this semaphores works on the mutual exclusion principle the semaphore uses the mutual exclusion principle what is this mutual exclusion the mutual exclusion is nothing but it's a condition where two processes cannot occur at the same time okay so if one process is uh, performing the operation another process cannot occur at the same time one by one it should come okay that is mutual exclusion so this semaphore uses the mutual exclusion principle this semaphore is a built-in class built-in class means it's one uh, this semaphore is a one class like how we use normal classes like that only the semaphore is a one class so here we will use the assign the handle and all the things okay whatever we do with the simple class so the same thing will goes for semaphore also it's a container or a built-in class which has a fixed number of keys so the processes must get the key from the bucket to perform the operation in order to continue with the execution so once they get the key then only they can continue with the execution or continue with the processes okay we will see how they will get the key and how they will perform the operation okay multiple processes so the syntax is semaphore and the handle of the semaphore semaphore is keyword okay we have to use this semaphore keyword and he, this is the handle of the semaphore like how we used to declare the class class and the class name right similarly here semaphore is a class name and sem handle is the class handle sem handle is the class handle okay so this is the syntax to write the semaphores 
in semaphores we have some methods okay we will see what are all those methods first one is new method new get put and try get these are all the methods four methods we have in semaphore only four methods okay so the first one is new method what is this new method to create a semaphore with a specified number of keys we use the new method we know that semaphore is a one built-in class so if it is a class we have to create the object right so for that we have to use the new method since it is a semaphore it works with the keys right so in order to generate the keys we have to use the new method in the parenthesis we have to mention the keys how many number of keys are available so by default it is always one okay so how we use the new method this is the handle handle is equals to new of here we have to mention the keys this is the syntax to use the new method okay this is the handle sem handle is the handle of the semaphore is equals to this is the new method new here you have to mention the keys and the next one is get method so to obtain or get a specified number of keys we use the get method so this is the syntax sem handle dot get here number of keys how many keys it requires in order to continue with the process or in order to continue with the operation how many key it requires so that we have to mention here okay so get method in i told you right the process must get the key from the bucket then only it can continue with the execution this is the method dot get method sem handle dot get here number of keys and put method to put or return the number of keys after getting the key after performing some operation it has to return the key okay it has to return the key then only other process can get the key right so for that it has to use the put method sem handle dot put and you can return the keys here okay you can return the keys and last one is try get method so try to obtain or get a specified number of keys without blocking the execution so the syntax is sem handle dot try get here number of keys same as get method only but the difference between get and try get is get is a blocking okay it's a blocking and try get is non blocking here until and unless the keys are available it will not go into unblock the process okay unlock the process but in try get if the key is available or not it will go into unblock the process okay and this is a function this try get is a function it will return one if the key is available in the bucket or if the key is not available it will return zero okay so we will see how to use this all methods okay uh, we will discuss this example in the code thank you